Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this uh, electronic parking brake motor. As you can see here, this uh, motor goes attached to the caliper. And this part here, when it spins, this is what controls the, uh, the piston on the caliper, which it spins and it comes out and then it goes back in when you uh when you act deactivate it with a uh, scan tool when it's plugged in that's how you do it but if you don't have a scan tool there's other ways to do it so i'm going to show you two ways that i know there's actually more than two but i know two ways that i'm going to show you now on how to do it so or actually three ways so let's get to it guys so the first one is you get two wires like this that have the connectors at the end and two on the other end two on this end and two on this end so all you have to do is you put one on one side just make sure they don't touch each other like the red doesn't touch the black and you put this one over here just like that so the first way is see if I can put this so you can see when it spins here, it's going to spin. You can take a 9 volt battery, put one here, and one here. And this should spin. It started spinning for a minute, but stop. It's not connected the right way, I guess. There we go. See it spinning? So let's say that's not the... Because in order to deactivate it, it should spin, I believe, clockwise. So it should go in. So this is spinning counterclockwise right now. So let me see if I could reverse the connections here. And hopefully it should spin the other way. So, See? There you go. Clockwise. That's the way it should spin. So I believe that should go in. Let me see. Yeah, that should be spinning in. So that's one way to do it, guys. Let me disconnect it from here. So another way is, let's say you don't have a battery, but let's say you have a battery, a battery jumper. You have one of these battery jumpers, portable battery jumper. So the same thing does the same work connect one here and the other one here see it's spinning faster see that and if you want to spin it the other way you just switch connections like I said before put this one here and it should go the other way see counterclockwise so that's another way that's two ways right there so let's say that you don't have either you don't have a 9 volt battery and you don't have a portable jumper so all you have to do let's say you have a long long cable
and you have an extra battery, or not extra battery, let's say you can just connect it to your, you have long enough cables that you can connect it to your battery, that's all you got to do. Let me just put this right here, hold on, so you can see it. Just connect the right there. So you connect it to the battery, guys. Okay? It's that simple. I can't leave it connected because it's gonna come off. But that's all you basically got basically gotta do. You connect positive and the negative over there, and that's it. It'll spin. But make sure also, guys, you disconnect your uh, your negative battery cable from the battery before you start messing around. So when you do this, you disconnect the battery cable and you unplug the plug that goes here. And then that's, this is in case you don't have a scan tool. And then you plug this one here one here make sure they don't touch make sure this rubber piece is over it like that covering the whole piece like that and then you connect it so like that these two don't touch like that just make sure they don't touch because you can mess up the motor so like i said guys once this is all the way pushed in then that's when you come with the uh with the brake tool and you twist it in with the brake tool that's it okay so that's how you do it guys remember the other piece is going to be here the the piston so that's going to have the grooves so that's where you put the tool at and it'll spin in okay because this is only going to it's going to wind back the uh the motor here this is going to wind back the piece that that's in here it's going to wind it back so you'll be able to push the piston in all right so those are three simple ways that you can do it guys safely all right so like i say with the 9 volt battery it's regular door cell or if you don't have that one of these or what it just plug it into your battery just use a long long cable that goes from the from the uh, motor all the way to the battery but if you don't have long cables like that this would be the best bet just use a 9 volt works great so there you have it guys very easy way to wind back your your caliper piston this is only for uh, electronic parking brake, okay? So those are the two pins in there, and that's it, guys. And there you have it. And this motor is by TRW, and this is for an Audi vehicle, okay? But most of these motors, they work in the same way. That's how you wind them back, okay? Very easy. Or if you have the scan tool, you can do it with the scan tool. But a lot of people don't have the scan tool or a lot of people don't know how to do it with the scan tool. So you can just do it this simple way. So like, share, subscribe, and God bless, guys. Take care.